Hi, it's Julia here and welcome to Grocery Shop. We're excited to be here and talk about all of the innovations going on in this very disrupted but incredible industry. Hi, my name is Daniela Jurado and I'm the Executive VP for VTEX in North America. We're a global enterprise digital commercial commerce platform with more than 3,600 customers around the world. Danielle, can you tell me a little bit about why VTEX is at Grocery Shop? Yeah, absolutely. So um, VTEX, as I said before, is a global platform and we have clients in so many verticals. But one of the main verticals that we support is grocery. Actually, one of the fir first customers that we had back in 2008 was um, Walmart in Brazil. And oh, okay. since that moment, we understood how powerful is the product for grocery itself. We came here like three years ago and we had a booth. And it was great. It was a great experience. And we had so many grocery cases to talk about. But at that time, unfortunately, we didn't have the North American case. And I think you know that it's so hard to import talent into import sure. like cases and successful stories into the US. People want to know what's going on here. What have you done here? Like people don't realize you can do it because you have done it before in other countries. So that's why we decided to wait a little bit. We didn't come last year. We missed it, but we didn't come. And this year we came ready because now we have two customers in North America running on VTEX. Amazing. And we're so, so excited to hear who those customers are. Are you able to share? I am. Um, we have a public story with H Mart. So this is one of the biggest Asian supermarkets. It's having a lot of success in North America. And we did a replatforming from a different company to VTEX a couple of months ago. We're having very, very good results. And one of the main things I would like to highlight is we made a um, migration only nine, nine months, which is a very, very aggressive um, timeline. And also they are doing, besides the traditional sales, they're also doing marketplace with VTEX. That's excellent. And one thing, this is an endorsement for VTEX. Uh, in my role interviewing people across the industry, VTEX is known for their speed to market and how fast they can replatform compared to other companies. So I think that's something very significant for people who want to learn more about what VTEX does. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about your view of, of e-commerce in the grocery market? Because it is evolving. It wasn't always like this. Yeah. Even five years ago. Yeah. You know that we just did a reaper with you guys, with your support, um, Focus Completely on Grocery. When one of the things we saw is that grocery is expected to be one of the main verticals in e-commerce by 2026. So that's already big, right? The fact of having many supermarkets with um, the biggest kind of market share in online and digital instead of the traditional brick and mortars. So that already tells you a lot about the growth and the trends and so on. What we are seeing is something very, um, I would say, specific about grocery is loyalty. Um, how do you guarantee that people that buy from you are going to come back and back and back? Because we know that margins are very tricky in the grocery segment. Absolutely. Margins are very, very low. So you really need to guarantee that those uh, customers that came once they feel um, encouraged to come again. So we have a very nice case in Spain that is Ahmed Lier. It's like a very um, local case, but they're actually a very, very big brand. Okay. And 60% of their customers are recurring customers. This is something they managed to do with VTEX, of course, but also with all the experience that they offer in the website. The fact that they offer not only products, but also content. And they engage recently in live shopping, which I think is a very, very good trend that is coming out of for grocery. And that traditional, we didn't think about like grocery doing live shopping. Why? Are you going to show a tomato? That's what it says, right? You're going to show a banana. But it's about finding the experience. So what these people are doing is like bringing chefs. For example, they bring um, popular chefs and they do a recipe online and they show you how to do something. And just by one click, you can just add the product to the cart. And here you go. You are converting and increasing the conversion rate by having an event that is something organic. You're not paying to get people to the website. So those are some of the techniques that we see as trends in grocery, and we would really encourage like all the brands that are here to test it out because again, cost of acquisition is very, very low and conversion rate increases crazily and exponentially. Sure, and, and to Danielle's point, we see that some grocers are a little bit apprehensive about the e-commerce experience because there are fewer opportunities for those impulse buys for discovery, but e-commerce platforms are catching up and increasingly those experiences and opportunities are being translated online. Would you say that's something that you feel is, is true? Is there a choice even for retailers at this point for grocers? No, absolutely. And, and let's face it, COVID helped a lot, right? Yeah. Like 
Of course, it was a tough time, but um, curbside only exists in the way that exists today because of COVID, right? Because people didn't or didn't have the chance to go into the stores, so you just need to grab stuff outside, and that bring uh, that that brought a lot of automation, AI itself, and so on. Um, also, I'm in China itself. Like the second case that I didn't mention before, but I think I can. I'm, I'll do a check with my client afterwards, but yeah, it's far away. Um, and they are also migra migrating from a kind of, um, I would say, focused grocery platform to VTEX. Um, it's not live yet. However, they are very, very excited and they are very, very happy with everything they have seen before. And the reason why I mentioned them is because they don't ship. Um, it's only copies. So if you buy from them, you have to okay. go to the store and pick it up. But they offer you a lot of advantages. For example, you can change your order up to 30 minutes before picking up. So if you wow. forget something, like, you know, I can still make it at last moment. I have 30 minutes before actually picking up the order to make changes. And that's something that gives you a lot of flexibility. So that shows how the grocery stores at the end are, are changing and are going th towards this digitalization. Um, that is not anymore a choice, as you mentioned before. And that's so impressive. You, I mean, I, I haven't heard of that sort of delivery window being able to be edited or pick up window with changes. So very impressive. I think that's where we're all headed, whether we like it or not. And um, I'm so thankful that there are people like VTEX in the market. What would you say is one thing you would want people to know about VTEX and maybe they don't know yet? Um, I think the main, the main um, differentiator of VTEX is the fact that it's such a comprehensive solution that can, can give you a lot of tools and there is no capex for use of those tools. And in the current world where we're, we're facing a very high cost of capital, um, interest rates and so on, we know that it's very hard for retailers to just buy and buy and test out without knowing if that actually is gonna bring any ROI. So right. what VTEX gives you is like, again, a lot of features, a lot of components that you can test out and decide if it works for you or not without any, again, capex or additional investment. Just to give an example, the live shopping that I mentioned before, that's something we develop, so it's native in the platform. So if you want to use it, there is not a high cost of acquisition because it's something already integrated with the platform, and you can just test it out. You can just create a marketing, a campaign, an email, and tell to your clients, hey, I'm going to do a live shopping tomorrow. This time, join us. Let's say the worst scenario, you don't get anyone, right? That's really the worst scenario. Um, you didn't buy anything at the end. Let's say sure. on the other scenario, you got a lot of people and a lot of people converted those orders. No investment, and you just had like a conversion rate that is expected to be like six times higher than a normal conversion rate. So that's what VTEX want to do. We want to help our retailers and our customers by give, giving them more tools where they don't need to invest, they don't need to pay for expensive or expensive um, capex. They can just test out and bring a lot of results. We are a results-driven company and we would like to partner with our customers. That's incredible. Thank you so much, Daniela from VTEX for your time today. I enjoyed chatting with you and I look forward to seeing what all you guys accomplish in the coming year. Thank you very much. Thank you.